world events were not something that was very prominent on campus, at least as I can recall it. Um, the Vietnam War really tore the country apart. It became very pervasive, and I think that that clearly did come onto the campus. Um, we, as, as Gil just said, we used to go march, and there are other things that we would do. So it, it was, there was no way for the Vietnam War not to come onto campus. But I think really beyond that, there weren't very many social issues. The world issues didn't seem to affect the way that we operated. Again, we live in a bubble. Uh, and to some extent, you do, but you have so much more access to knowledge. Uh, you have so much more awareness of what's going on in the world. You have a faculty that's much more interested in having you be aware and understand the world around you that simply was not a part of the education that we had. Our education was in these textbooks. These are the skills and the knowledge that we were so supposed to master. And that was largely the focus of our education. It wasn't the, the rich diversity of, of education, of knowledge, of exposure that you received. It was simply a very, very different place and time. I'll tell you sort of my own biases. As I came here and saw Asheville, first of all, in those days, my hair was like this long. <laughs> uh, and I came here to Asheville and I looked around and it was this really little sleepy country town. Um, and I said, I don't know that I'm ready for them or they're ready for me. And I went and bought a pair of hair clippers. I learned how to cut my own hair. Because I said, there's nobody in this town that's going to yeah, I'm going to let touch my hair. Uh, and literally to this very day, I still cut my own hair. <laughs> uh, but it started right here, and because of my own bias and looking at this town and thinking, you know, young black kid coming here with all of his hair, they're not ready for me. And, but it was really, I wasn't ready for them. The reference is really a global community. Uh, I was really working and knowing people literally. I have friends now on every continent except uh, Antarctica. Um, and um, so really, my world has really grown much more, but I think the experience that I had at Asheville School of being able to come here and to interact in this environment, to, to learn, I, I say this and I make light of it sometimes when I say it, but I, I learned, I had a chance to learn what, again, predominantly white kids thought before they really knew who they were and began to put on their masks. So I had a chance to get to know people. Uh, just raw people before society told them that they were supposed to be a certain way and think a certain way. Um, and I think that was a really rich education for me and, and it's really, I think I leveraged that to now be able to talk to and interact with people from literally anywhere in the world uh, because I've had that experience of going back and forth between cultures. Um, and um, the first experience in that was here at Asheville School.